Hello, welcome to video number 8, Charts. A lot of times you will need to represent data as charts in Excel. And in this video, I will talk on line charts and when to use it, column charts and when to use it, bar charts and when to use it, pie charts and when to use it, also combo charts and spark lines. So let's start. So let's talk about line charts. Line charts is best used to visualize a trend. For example, in this data table here, I have the market penetration of one of my software. As you can see, from 2014 to 2020, and the trends, the software's market penetration. So how do we make a line chart? I'll just drag it to the side. So we select the data table, you go to insert, line line chart as you can see it's not looking the same way as this we can change that you click on the on the chart you go to select data you remove this this is meant to be the the years so you remove that you are left with penetration and then your horizontal axis label you select that this is what you want to be there you click on ok now you can see it's looking so much like this when making my charts i prefer using the chart layout 3 and then my official color is purple, so I come to format, I select purple, and that's how you make a line chart. The next, column chart. Column chart. Column chart is best used to show data across different categories. And here I have my revenue across different year categories. My financial year 2013, financial year 2014, financial year 2015. Financial year 2016, financial year 2017, financial year 2018. These are different years. And to show my revenue across these years, it's best to use column charts. So we are going to remake this. Again, I'll select my data table. I'll go to insert. I'll click on column. I have several options here. I'll go to 2D column charts. Next, I'll explain 3D column charts. But let's go with 2D column charts. Once again, I like using my chart layer 3. It gives more space for my actual visualization. It moves the legend downwards. And then I like to use my official color. Purple. And so we've made a column chart and this is called a data table you can easily insert it by going to layout data table show data table so let's make a 3d column chart we select the data series insert column 3D. I'm going to drag it downwards. Once again, I'll use chart layer 3. Then I'll go use my official color. But this time around, I'll use this. Then I'll change the floor, the wall. I'll give it a light color. And I also change the floor. I also give it the same light color. And that's how you make a 3D column chart. The 3D column chart, as you can see here, is much more visually appealing than the 2D column chart. So let's go to bar charts. The main difference between the column chart and the bar chart 
is when you have a large series data series like this with column charts it's not going to look very okay you will have to keep scrolling to the right to see the data entries but with the bar charts all you have to do is just scroll up and down which is much more natural and it's less clumsily looking and the other benefit is with a bar chart when you have data series with really long names like this bar chart is best that way you can get to use more of your of your space for the charts without having the name take too much space so that's why we are using a bar chart for this so how do you make a bar chart? I'm going to delete this. So we'll select the entire table. We'll go to insert and uh, by chart. Once again, I like using the third chart layout um, drag this up to use my official color open then you will notice the the axis label is really way down. Let me increase the width so the numbers won't overlap. Okay. It will be very difficult for me to know what the value of this is. So I'm going to go to layout. I'm going to include data labels. I'll say include inside end. And that gives me that gives me the value of each data bar and that's how you do a bar chart so let's go to the combo charts use combo charts when you need to show two different categories of data on the same charts and often using two different chart types like here I have revenue for my business and also have the growth I want to represent both on the same charts and remember I said when you need to show data across different categories it's best to use a column chart but when you want to show a trend use a line chart so in this graph in this chart I'll be using both the, the column chart and the line chart so I'm going to drag this to the end so let's insert let's make the chart I'll go to insert. When making a combo chart, you start with one chart type. So I'm going to start with the column chart. So this is it. Remember, I said I prefer using, I'm going to use my official color, and I also like using chart layout three. Okay. Next stage is I need to move the growth to its own axis, like I have it here. And I also need to change it to a line chart. But here I can't even see the growth data bars because they are really small compared to the revenue. And hence I can't see them, let alone click them. But the good thing is I can easily enter a fictitious number here that will make the bar for this particular entry show up. I'm going to enter 1 million. Let me add one more zeros. Okay, so I'm going to click it. And I'll right click. I'll go to Format Data Series. I'll say Move to a Secondary Axis. Once I've done that, I can safely delete this. 
So now I've successfully moved my growth to a secondary axis. Now I need to change it to a line chart. So I right click and click on change series chart type. Then I'll select line chart. And that's it. So for this, I'll change it to you can put in equals to and select this row, this cell, and it does the label for you, chart type. So. And so that is it for combo charts. Let's go to spark lines. Again, I have that same data here, my revenue and my growth. But Sparkline lets me create charts in one cell. Rather than having to draw a, a full chart taking over a lot of space, I can just put in a chart in a cell, making it easy for me to easily see the trend. I can easily see, oh, my revenue has been growing steadily. But looking at the growth rate, I can see my growth rate has been decreasing. So like spark lines are good for making one cell charts showing a quick visualization of data and so how do you make a spark line you select you go to insert you go to spark line this is the part for spark line you select the kind of spark line you want let's do column for the revenue asks for the data range select this and where you want this spark line to be placed let's place it here so I click on ok I can to increase the size of the chart you just have to adjust the height and width of the cell row and column if I need to increase Reads. So let's also do for growth. I'll go to insert. I'll click on line. I'll select this as my data range. I'll go with putting it in here. And that is it. So that's how you make spark lines. So that is it for this video. The next video is on pivot table and power pivot. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to our blog. Thank you.